Welcome back. This is another exciting episode of Mr. Takeda Teaches 7th Grade Math. Hey, this is Lesson 7.3 Extension, 7.3e on Angle Measures of Triangles. Now, this is kind of interesting to me, personally. Um, it's basically one idea, but it's a very important idea. So I don't know why this is part of like an extension lesson, but here is the big idea. That if you add up all of the angles of a triangle, it will always add up to 180 degrees. That's it. So we're going to practice using that idea um, in in this lesson. I'm going to do a couple of, couple examples and have you try a couple. Let's go, shall we? Example one: finding angle measures. There's two of these, A and B. Find each value of x, then classify each triangle. Okay. Well, for A, I know that if I add 28 plus 50 plus x, right? those are the three angles of the triangle. If I add them up, I get 180. So now I just need to solve for x. Well, let's simplify the left side. 28 plus 50 is 78. And now I... Can, uh, to solve for x, I subtract 78 from both sides. Right? So now I use my, uh, my inverse operations. So uh, 78 minus 78 cancels each other out. So x equals 102. So x is 100. And we don't have, it's, it doesn't say to find the measurement. It just says find the value of x. So I can just leave it like this. x equals 102. And then to classify this triangle, 102, this is greater than um, this is greater than 90, so this is obtuse. And the other two angles are not equal to each other, um, so this is obtuse scalene. All the angles are different sizes, so uh, obtuse scalene. I think that's the name of some TikTok star. Uh, B. Okay, so when we see this little uh, indication here that looks like a square, that means this is a right angle. And if it's a right angle, it's equal to 90 degrees. Um, we have a 45, a 90, and an X. So let's add those together. 45 plus 90 plus X equals 180. 90 plus 45 is 135 plus X equals 180. Okay, so I've simplified. Now I can uh, use my inverse operations to subtract that 135 from both sides. So x is going to equal um, 45. So x is 45. And as far as classification goes, this is uh, these, um, these two little lines being the same on both of these legs of the triangle indicate these are the same um, length. And what you're, you're going to find in triangles is that um, if these are the same length, then this is going to be the same angle across here. But uh, um, And that's for a different time. But I have the same length, so two of the same length are um, and a right angle. This is a right isosceles. And I have to remember how to spell isosceles. Isosceles with an S-E there. Isosceles. Right, isosceles. I think that's right. Hope spelling doesn't count because, uh, you know, I'm guessing. Okay, try this one. Find the value of X and then classify it. And it says each, but just classify this one. Um, okay, so pause it if you need to. Get the answer for this and you'll have a place to put it at the end of the video. Uh, that's for class. That's for class. That's for class. And that's for class. Okay, next example. <clears throat> uh, find each value of x and classify each triangle. Uh, so they give us some flags here. Uh, both of these are uh, Caribbean countries. So we have this triangle in the green here at the top of the flag of Jamaica. It's telling us that this big angle is 128 degrees. And I've got two x's here. These little lines indicate those are the same um, the same length, so this will be an isosceles triangle. So let's do this here, uh, x plus x plus 128 equals 180. 
I can simplify the x as 2x plus 1 28 equals 180. All right, so this is a two-step equation. First, I'm going to subtract the 128 from both sides. Uh, let's see, 10 minus 8 is 2, so that's 7 minus 2 is 5. 52 equals 2x. Dividing both sides by 2, x equals 26. Find the value of x. x is 26. And then to classify it, this is going to be uh, obtuse isosceles because these are the same length. Isosceles. Right? On the Cuban flag, hmm. I've got x, x, and 60. So x plus x plus 60 equals 180. So simplifying the left side, 2x plus 60 equals 180. All right, subtracting 60 from both sides. 2x equals 120. Dividing both sides by 2, x equals 60. <clears throat> look, at this, look at this one. I have 60, 60, 60. So this is equiangular. Meaning all the angles are equal and equilateral, meaning all the sides are the same length. Equiangular, equilateral. And you're going to find that all equilateral triangles are equiangular, right? Because if all the sides are the same length, then all the angles have to be the same. And there'll always be a 60, 60, 60. That's an equiangular triangle. Okay. Uh, try this one. Mm, look at that piece of pizza there. You have an X, an X, and a 72. You have these little lines here. If you can't see them, you have little lines there. Uh, go ahead and find the value here and then classify this triangle. And that's it for this video. And I will see you in class um, when we get to this lesson, I guess. I don't know when it's going to be. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.